Well, Lauren Tom now joins us with this week's Ag Minute. And Lauren, you are going to talk about a drink that comes in a frosty mug. That's my favorite, but it's root beer. That's right. It's something that's also made with ginger, which is what we talked about last week. It's root beer, and its roots run really deep here in America. But there was a time when the root beer industry came to a screeching halt, but somehow made a foamy comeback. The roots of root beer can be traced back to the mid-1800s to this man, Charles Hyers. Hyers was a pharmacist and wanted to create a miracle drug. So he took 25 different roots, berries, and herbs and came up with a liquid concoction that he called root beer. Hyers soon bottled his root beer and began to market the drink as a cure-all. This original version tasted both bitter and sweet. The public loved it, and it soon became the popular drink of its day, long before any other sodas or colas had even been introduced. Many years later, a key ingredient in root beer called sassafras root was banned in 1960 by the USDA for being a carcinogen. So root beer makers began experimenting and discovered a way to remove the sassafras oil from the sassafras root and in the end saved the root beer industry. Today, there are thousands of companies which make root beer, including Louisiana's own Abita Brewing Company, which uses Louisiana cane sugar. 